Hello there, my classmates. It's me, your classmate, Charnas. This is related to the lesson of describing changes in solid materials when they are hammered or cut. Oh, ano nga mga classmates? Ready na ba kayo? Simulan na natin! A hammer is a hand tool usually consists of solid head held on the end of a handle. It is used for beating, shrinking, or pounding materials or objects. Nakakasama ko po, I see Daddy! Dahil mas malakas ang force na paghammer niya at para mas makita natin ang changes na bawat materials. Number one, one piece of block of wood. Mapapansin po natin na na-deform po yung wood. Physical appearance lang po ang nagbago. Hindi po nagbago ang kanyang color at texture. Number two, hollow block. Mapapansin po natin na nakrap po ang hollow blocks and broke into small pieces. Hindi po nagbago ang kanyang color at texture. Physical appearance lang po ang nagbago. Number 3. Empty tin can. Mapapansin po natin na na-deform po ang body parts ng empty tin can. Nagbago po ang kanyang shape and size. Hindi po nagbago ang kanyang color at texture. Physical appearance lang po ang nagbago. Number 4. Sheet of Galvanized Iron Mapapansin po natin na na-deform po or na-flatten ang galvanized iron. Ang nagbago po ay ang shape, size, at texture. Hindi po nagbago ang kanyang color. Physical appearance lang po ang nagbago. Number 5. Small stone. Mapapansin po natin na nakrap po ang stone and broke into small pieces. Nagbago po ang kanyang shape, size, texture, at hindi po nagbago ang kanyang color. Physical appearance lang po ang nagbago. Solid materials can be hammered. When hammered, these materials may change their size and shape and even the texture. However, no new material is formed because only the physical appearance of the material is changed. Cutting a piece cut off from something, especially what remains when something is being trimmed or prepared. Number one, one piece of used paper. Mapapansin po natin na mula sa malaking size nito at sa rectangular shape nito ay nagkaroon ng pagbabago mula ng ito ay gupitin naging sa small size at square shape na lang po ito. Hindi po nagbago ang kanyang texture at color. 
physical appearance lang po ang nagbago. Number 2, small cardboard. Mapapansin po natin na nagkaroon ng changes sa kanyang shape and size. Kaya po nang ginawa ko, gumupit po ako ng hoogie statsilo. Hindi po nagbago ang kanyang texture and color. Physical appearance lang po ang nagbago. Number 3, used cloth. Mapapansin po natin na nagkaroon ng changes sa kanyang shape and size. Kaya po nang ginawa ko, gumupit po ako ng pahabang line. Hindi po nagbago ang kanyang texture and color. Physical appearance lang po ang nagbago. Candy Wrappers there is a physical change when I cut it into small pieces. Mula sa rectangular shape, naging square shape and become small size. Number 5. Leaves Nagbago po ang kanyang shape, size, and texture. Hindi po nagbago ang kanyang color. Only physical appearance lang po ang nagbago. Science concept. Solid materials can be cut. When cut, these materials may change their size and shape, but no new material is formed. Hence, only the physical appearance of the solid material is changed when cut. So yun mga classmates, natapos na natin ang ating science experiment. Ipasa na natin kay teacher.